Well, it's official. The Edmonton Oilers have a new owner tonight. Today, the National Hockey League's Board of Governors put the rubber stamp on the offer to purchase from Daryl Cates. John Sexsmith is in the Global Newsroom with more. John, management with the Oilers appears happy to have this potential purchase finally put to bed. Well, it certainly has been a long road. It began some time ago with Cates making his first unofficial offer to buy the team. I guess it was almost a year ago now. The reclusive Edmonton billionaire made several attempts to buy the team from the Edmonton Investors Group earlier this year. His $200 million offer was accepted by the EIG, clearing the way for today's development. This is a step in the process, the uh, final step being the closing of the deal. So in case of Edmonton, in our case, uh, 34 sellers, uh, so 34 deals, uh, each individual. And uh, th there's no real hurdle to that. It's just extra paperwork and, uh, and uh, legal fees. But uh, it'll all get done on or before June 30th. The new owner has promised to keep the team in Edmonton and spend up to the salary cap every year, making sure the owners stay competitive. The camera shy Kate says he will finally address the media in person for the mm. first time on this issue, July 2nd. That'd be something. Yeah. Eh? yeah. So, John, the NHL Commission is also weighing in on the, this change of ownership. Well, Gary Bettman says the EIG should be commended for what they've done for the team and the city in the past 10 years. You'll hear from him the commissioner later in sports sounds good thanks john, thanks, john. all right one of the spin-offs kate's promised if he was successful in the purchase was contributing towards a new arena many have suggested it be located in the downtown core now kate's has pledged 100 million dollars towards construction today the mayor said the next steps can now be taken to making this proposed facility a reality we'll make sure everything is done with him and then we'll uh, have hopefully have him and our administration and uh, Northlands come together. I probably won't play much of a role, you know, other than uh, being a, you know, a participant in, in, the, in some general process. There's been no confirmation if taxpayer dollars would be used to fund the rest of the complex. With a, even out, without even writing a prescription, Daryl Cates created quite the buzz for this city nearly a year ago. That's when the local billionaire who owns the Rexall family of pharmacies started the process of trying to purchase the Oilers. In February, Cates received unanimous approval from the Edmonton Investors Group for the sale of their shares at $200 million in total. And today, in New York, Cates received unanimous approval from the NHL Board of Governors for the final sale of those EIG shares. Cates issued this release in response to the league approval of the sale. I am very pleased to have received the Board of Governors' unanimous approval. We look forward to closing the transaction on or before June 30th and are gearing up for the coming season. Cates will make his first official appearance as Oilers owner July 2nd. So it's the end of the EIG era and on behalf of Oilers fans everywhere I say thanks to that group. Thanks for saving the team originally and making the Oilers a consistent success. Not necessarily on the ice but Rexall Place is generally packed and I see countless numbers of kids adorned in Oilers garb. In fact we just bought a family-sized Oilers pool. Did you? Yeah, it's really <laughs> cool. Uh, but the EIG is passing the baton to a brilliant businessman. The original group uh, deserves an, an amazing, tremendous amount of credit uh, for all they did to stabilize the franchise and ensure that it had a future in Edmonton. And so uh, Cal Nichols, Jim Hall, Bill Butler, and the rest of the owners all deserve our thanks and the thanks of our fans in Edmonton. Uh, I think this is a point in time where a transition to a single owner uh, who's passionate about the game, passionate about Edmonton, and passionate about the Oilers, who's committed to getting a new arena built. Uh, this was a, an appropriate time for the franchise to move forward uh, and and reorganize its ownership structure. So I think this is a real positive for the Oilers. As for the Oilers brass, as mentioned yesterday, they're in Ottawa for the NHL draft. The Oilers select 22nd overall, and Yanni Pitkinen could be a hot bit of trade bait.